My name is Steve and welcome to my shop. This video is going to be actually a revisit of a previous video that I did about two years ago. I did a video on balancing the surface grinding wheel and it has been very successful when I go on to my users page in YouTube very often it comes up as one of the top videos that has been viewed during the week and for a long time it it was on that list so it's got quite a few views but I was never really happy with the procedure it's an industry accepted procedure for balancing the wheel and I personally had no problem doing it and I've been doing it that way for many years but to show it and try and explain it to somebody else I always felt that there was a liability there because you're actually drilling indentations into the stone which could potentially weaken it I feel comfortable doing it, but I don't know that everybody that views that is going to have the same feel for, for drilling the, the stone that I do. It could end up potentially drilling right through it or cracking the wheel or some other thing that would make the wheel unsafe. So this video is going to be using a an adapter that actually fits onto the arbor and can be used to balance the grinding wheel. So I'm going to bring you in a little closer and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Here is the wheel that I did on that particular demo and you can see that there's some drilled holes on that side and this wheel was considerably out of balance and so I've got some deeper holes on on this side also in order to get the uh, get it balanced correctly so I'm actually setting up a new wheel this one is getting beat up a little bit I have used it a lot and I've ground the sides of it and I've done some radiuses on it and it's still a very usable wheel but for the next project that I've got coming up I want a nice new fresh wheel that is balanced. I'm going to show you how I'm going to be mounting this balancing collar on the wheel. I purchased these collars from Chuck Bomarito at outside screwball and I have been considering making some I even bought the material to do it but when he made these available and I bought a couple of them and the price for two of them wasn't worth my time and effort to drill all these holes and so I decided to to support a fellow youtuber and, and purchase one now this can be mounted on either side of the wheel. Normally it would go on here with the flat washer and then the nut. On my particular grinder the way that I have the guard set up there isn't room for that on that side. So I'm actually putting it on the back side of the hub. Doesn't really make any difference. So I put that on and then the wheel. Now this particular wheel is, a, is only a quarter inch wheel so I actually have to use an extra spacer because the hub is not threaded all the way. So I put my spacer in that's the index washer and then I'll tighten up the nut on it 
And then I use my wrench to tighten it. Use the spanner wrench to tighten the, the hub. So that's the setup. So there's the balancing ring and so that that'll end up going inside on my particular setup this is the balancing jig that I made up and there's a video on that and the first thing I did was level it up I have my precision level and it is leveled up front to back and then I put a couple of my precision parallels across it and level it end to end. And that I did off screen before as I was setting up. So I set I put the arbor, the stone on the arbor and so this is the light side the heavy side is at the bottom I had already done this earlier and so the the heavy side or the light side is right here so I'm going to uh, that's where I'm going to start when you purchase this particular set of rings it comes with an assortment of set screws so I'm going to I expect based on my experience with this that I'm gonna need a little bit more weight on this side so I'm gonna take and put two of them in and center them on that light side. Now I'll we'll take and okay. That's still light. So let's put another one in there. Once I get it balanced, then I'll thread them in all the way. Right now, they're just a couple of threads holding them in place. So let's. Well, this is going to take quite a bit of weight. So like we're getting a little closer. I put this is probably going to be too much now, but we'll see. This is way out of whack. I did when I mounted the. Uh, stone up on the hub I did dress it so it has been dressed that's the first thing you need to do after you do that because if it was out around and you balanced it and once you dressed it it would go out of balance again so let's put some more set screws in I'm going to, uh, I've got some longer set screws that are a little heavier. I'm going to go get them and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm pretty close now. I ended up using longer screws in the center here that are uh, a little bit heavier. So I recommend that if you do purchase these that you get yourself some extra quarter inch 20 set screws now you can see if I set that it's 
pretty well. It's not moving now. That's got it pretty good. It's about as close as I think I'm ever going to get it. So there we go. I ended up with set screws all the way around the one side in order to balance it. And that was a new hub. So I suspect that it's the wheel, not the hub. So that's good. So now I'm going to take and put it on the grinder and see what kind of a finish we get. Okay, this is a block of 4140 steel that I ground yesterday after I dressed the wheel before it was balanced. And I think that you can quite clearly see Although it's got a decent finish on it, you can see that the ripples. And that is caused by an unbalanced wheel. So let's go set up the surface grinder. And I'm going to re-grind that face with the balanced wheel and see what kind of a finish we get. I'm all set. I'm going to be taking about a one thousandth cut on this and then I'm going to do a finished cut of about five tenths. I redressed the stone after balancing it. I'm doing a 50,000 step over. Okay, let's take it over to the bench and see what we've got. Now there's the finish after balancing the wheel. Far from perfect, but I think that it is significantly better than it was. You can still see a little bit in here, but the, uh, the amplitude of it doesn't seem to be nearly as high as it was. I'm pretty satisfied with that, although I'm going to continue to try and get a better finish. I want to thank Chuck of Outside Screwball for making these balancing rings available. I will leave contact information for him in the description of the video in addition to a link to his YouTube channel. So if you're interested, contact Chuck um, and he'll let you know if he's still got them available. Uh, the last time I talked to him, he still had a few, and he was considering getting another lot of them machined up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.